Hey YouTube, Blind Adam 23 here, back again, bringing you all another Ark Survival Evolved video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you all smash that like button. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you ain't already subscribed. And then make sure you click that little bell next to that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I put a video up. And then, of course, last but not least, like always, make sure you leave a comment down below of what you all want to see in the next video. Now, let's get started with the video. First thing I want to say, everyone who plays on the server on the Xbox One, I want you to know there is a very important message for all of you, very, very important, at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, now let's get into what everybody else is here for, I'm sure, right here. That's right, beautiful Griffin right there in front of me. Oh, yeah. Now, let me say first, guys. First, I want to say it's pretty. Except for, I wish they would have let made the, the lion would have been, the legs would have been lion legs, okay? Like, that just would have been better for me. Better for me, my opinion. I know it, it's a my mystical creature. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a fictitious creature. It never was really a real thing, so, or at least... Uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, is it would have looked a little better to me, in my opinion, with the front, the, the legs being the only thing different. Just the legs. Just the legs. Anyways, so this is only supposed to spawn naturally. It only spawns on Ragnarok. Now, let me tell you, obviously you can spawn them in on other worlds and you can transfer them through the art also. So... Let's go ahead and turn on the HUD so you guys can see some numbers. Now, you see that there? Uh-huh, level 225. It's because it was a 150 when I spawned it in. And now, when I, t when I did the spawn in, it tames it automatically, and it tames out to 225. So, now let me get a look closer. I want you all to see the gender. See that? N slash A. What that means, well, what it boils down to, meaning you can't breed them. Unfortunately, they're not breedable, so we don't get to watch the Griffins get jiggy with it. So, now, I think that pretty much covers everything on the outside. I mean, other than it just being such a beautiful creature, it is, it is, pretty, it is pretty awesome looking. I will say that. But let's go ahead and get on to the inside and look at some stats. Oh, yeah, look at that health. Look at that health. The health is nice. I do like the health. 13,000. 700 plus health that is nice stamina eh, only 600 plus come on it should be higher than that it should be like 900 or so and the reason i say that is because their stamina goes down low and, and hey in just a second you're gonna find something else out about the stamina but let's get on down here to the melee you guys look at that melee there that melee is only 200 oh man that's too low too low in my opinion it should be 350 plus uh, the very lowest for a level 150 spawn in should be 350 percent and that's my opinion i promise you i'm not going to give any examples I, I i'm blind i don't i don't want to i don't want to make myself look like a fool more than i already look like one but anyways um i promise you the numbers are low it, the numbers are low whenever it hits even though it's those stats go on percentages the numbers are still low but it's it's still a really cool creature now let me tell you back to them being only on Ragnarok I also was told that they are or also was under the understanding that they're very rare now I am running some mods on my server here you guys can see or excuse me my single-player world it's not a server but I'm running some mods here you can see this is structures plus because I got the foundation sticking inside the other foundations and then, well, I, you know what? I might as well go ahead and just show you real quickly, real quickly, back here. Yeah, you can see that back there, right? See that glowing thing? Well, that's a dragon. That's from Extinction Core. But, hey, we'll talk about that just a little bit more later on in the video. Now, there's also a mod called All Natural on here also. But that's not really that big of a deal. So I don't I don't know if if maybe the the mod the extinction extinction core mod had anything to do with it spawning in so many of them but they're supposed to be rare and they're supposed to be on, only on Ragnarok 
And there was like five or six of them when I spawned in at Ragnarok on in Canyon 2 is where I spawned in at. And there was like five or six of them, and I heard they were supposed to be rare. So I'm not sure how close that is to being true, if they're rare or not, or if it was the mod or what. So, well, as you see here, I'm standing on the back of the griffin as it's not moving. And guess what? When you're up in the sky, sitting here like this, you can do the same thing. Here, let me go. There you go. See? I, he should have thinks right as I get in there. Mm-hmm. Well, you saw I got to stand there. Anyways, I think there's a way you can probably make him stay still and do it. I'm just, I, I'm, to be honest with you, all the flyers, since they put the flyer nerf in, they're too slow. I use the tech suit. I don't really ride around any flyers anymore. So, but anyways, so another thing is, since we were talking about how you ride on it, let me, here, let me get up there to the top a little bit more. As it, oh, it's got that beautiful mystic look to it. I like it. I like it. The atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Let's get up to the top here so you can stand on it like this. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. We get up here high enough in the in the air, I guess. It lets you stand on its back. Mm-hmm. That's, that's sweet. That's sweet. But, but, let's get in to the next cool thing. So, as you're riding it in the sky or as you're riding, riding it on the ground. Oh, don't do that yet. As you're riding it in the sky or on the ground, you can also pull your weapon out and use your weapon. But I'm lazy. Like always, I'm very lazy. And I didn't spawn one in, so sorry you guys don't get to see that. But you guys don't want to see a blind person trying to target shoot on the game anyways. But I promise you, I've seen it done. It can be done. And you see this here? Check this out. Look how I'm flying one side to the other side. Yeah. Oh, back it up. Let's back it up a little bit. Back it up a little bit. Let's go on forward. Go on forward. And then back it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so you can see that you can fly it just like the temperature. Always to the side. You know, it's cool like that. But you know what a temperature can't do? Check this out, guys. Let me get up here. Get a nice little turn around here. Look down there. That's where we want to go. Let's go. Check it out. Check it out. Watch what happens when I land. Watch what happens when I land. Oh, did you see that nice little smash there and the effects around it? Yeah, that's because if there would have been an animal anywhere around that that radius, it would have caused damage to that animal. I'm just saying, that's pretty cool. There's some other things too I want to tell you. This thing also, you can ride. Two people can ride on it. Yeah, that's right. So you and a tribe member can ride on it. And then there's some other cool things that it does. So you guys seen what happens when you fly straight down. It gives you that effect. Well, check it out. You can get that effect. And then once you get that effect... You get close, you just pull up and you glide. Do you see how I glide? And it goes so much faster. Glide. All right. Anyway, so, so, you see that it go, it flies faster when you do that. And then, and then, which I'm not gonna try to demonstrate it. Well, we'll give it a shot, but I guarantee you because my blind ass ain't gonna be able to do it. But it's supposed to run along the ground too. So let's see if this actually works. All right, I, I moved to a little different location on the map. Let's see if we can get it to run across the ground like it's supposed to. And then, oh, look at the glide. The glide was so much better over here. Look at that. See how fast I'm going horizontally? Ah, uh, yeah, the glide was good. Let's see if we can get the, the sprint on the ground to work good over here. Let's see. Just dive bomb down and then pull up as soon as we hit the ground. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Okay, well, you guys can get one. Try it out yourself and see how you think about it. And I'll tell you what, how about you guys leave a comment down below on what you guys think about the stats on the Griffin, what you think about the level of the Griffin, and all that good stuff. And we're gonna go back to the other place and I'll show you one more thing real quick. All right, so that showed off, that showed off a little bit of the movement. You guys seen the movement. You seen the little special effects with the dive bombing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, now, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, there's some things y'all need to know about it as I fly back to base, as I fly back to my base. There's some things you ought to know about it. First thing is, is it takes 34 shocking tank darts to knock a level 150 out. So, yeah, get ready for that. Second of all, if you're going to tame it, oh, look at that, what, is that a wyvern or is that another, wait, that's a wyvern, okay, I'm getting out of, I'm getting away. Anyways, second of all, 
And second of all, if you do want to tame one, remember they are very uninterested in humans. So it's going to be very diff difficult to keep it interested in you long enough to be able to tame it. So if that happens, if that happens, or if you want to tame one, let me rephrase that. If you want to tame one, my best suggestion to you is to go get, go find where they are on Ragnarok, which I would suggest since I've seen so many of them over there in Canyon 2 area, which is supposed to be a very difficult area to spawn in. But I'm in God mode, it doesn't matter. Um, if you go over that area and you want to get one, you should build a trap to catch it in and, and to be able to uh, tame it. So, after you knock a sucker out with 34 shocking trank darts, then it's going to take Allosaurus Kibble to tame it up. So, guys, go out, find you one, and get you one tamed up as, my, as the HUD sits right there on its face. How rude of it. Okay, so let's get into the last couple things I want to show you here. You guys seen the map a little bit there, me flying back over to my base here from that area. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys, this map is epic. It is ISO Crystal Isles map. Let me tell you, I am going to be doing a spotlight on this map on my channel. And it's going to be, I'm going to try to do a really good job on it because this map deserves my 100% best. I try to put a lot of good, um, I always try to put 100% in my videos, but I want to do extra on this one because this map needs a really good video. I, I, res, I just want to make sure that I give it the respect and credit that it's due. So that's coming. And then, and then there's another mod that I've started playing with that I really like. And I showed you guys, look at that. Look at that dragon there. That is from Extinction Core mod. We're going to get into that more whenever I do the mod spotlight. But I just thought I'd show you a couple of the primes. Just check this out. Check the dodo out. Isn't the dodo beautiful? You just ride the dodo around. Oh, I need to ride the dodo. And then look, look what I like the most. Look at the Jaboa. Oh, look at the prime Jaboa. Prime Jaboa. And guess what? I can ride my Jaboa. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to do, do a spotlight on these, on all the animals. I've never seen a tutorial on the Extinction Core mod. That does show all the animals so i'm going to show every animal that's in there and look at this 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 i don't even i don't even know what to i forgot what it was called i know it's the dragon with a bunch of tech stuff in involved oh dude it's just freaking awesome and oh oh look okay i'm just going to show you one thing just one thing listen to this listen to this oh let me get forward so you can see it okay. oh yeah, all right, all right, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm just saying, that thing's so freaking awesome. That thing's awesome, and it does a lot of damage, too. I think it's a 150. Yeah, it's 150. All right, anyways, all right. So, that's that's coming in the near future to my channel, so stay tuned to that. Remember, click that little bell so you get notified. All right, for everyone who has stuck around from my server, let me tell you what you guys are sticking around for. Ragnarok is going to be coming out on the Xbox on July 4th. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to want to switch to that map. Well, I want to entertain you guys. I want you guys to be able to do anything you want to do in tech. So, I, I myself and the Badman have created a base on the world. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is re really... Would you, you know what? I'm gonna fix this. Hold on. Sorry about that. My griffin was getting attacked, and I didn't. I didn't want the music. I didn't want the music, so I just put it in players only. That way, griffin can't be hurt, and there's no music going. And yeah, yeah. So, back to what I was saying. The badman and I have created a base, and inside this base, it is full. It's got vaults that are full of element. Um, it does. It is a fully tech base. But let me promise you that there is no glitch material in there at all. There is nothing inside walls. There is nothing that has been spawned in. Everything that is, all the animals were force tamed, but nothing was spawned in. The only thing that was spawned in was materials. That was it to build the base. Now, I promise you 100%, it is going to be worth completing 
the task of the raid. And when I say the task of the raid, the task of the raid is to be able to get all the way to the trek, excuse me, tech transmitter that's going to be inside the base. Now, you have to take out the tech transmitter. But let me tell you what you're going to be getting, part of what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting vaults full of element. You're going to be getting element shards that are out of the turrets. You're going to be getting probably the thing you all want to know the most. You're going to find out who Badman is. And who's been playing as the Badman character the whole time. And let me tell you, it's going to be... I, I can't wait. I can't wait to reveal. I can't wait to reveal. It's going to be awesome. But, but, but... You ain't going to find out. You ain't going to find out until you guys take that tech, tech transmitter out in the middle. And that'll be that'll be whenever you guys. That'll be. I'm going to record it. So YouTube, y'all are going to be able to watch them go at it. You're going to see everybody on the server go at it and all that good stuff too. So now if you need to know any more information about when we're going to be doing. I'm going to be recording the raid on the base and all that stuff. That'll It'll be sometime this weekend coming up first of all. And any other questions about it, leave it in the comment down below, and I'll respond and let you all know. Now, last thing. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you ain't already subscribed. And then leave a comment down below. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace!